Where are we going? Well, you scared me. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> uh, we'll probably just sit around, eat bread and soups. Now we're going to to the woods. Going to the woods. We're gonna kill a couple of them big old bucks. If you guys don't know, back when I was first doing YouTube, this was a video I did of scoring this buffer Joe, and then last year, that's the one Joe shot. Absolute beast. But, before all that, welcome back to another video, guys. We are headed to Land Between the Lakes. If you've been watching my channel at all for the last three years, you know we do this every year. Group of guys from our church, and we go there pretty much shoot what's brown us down. As long as, if it doesn't have antlers, it's dead. As long as it doesn't have spots. And if it has antlers, if it's over 80 to 100 inches, it's dead. Pretty much. Or, that just depends on the person, though. I'm not. That's me. But I can't say that for other people. Anthony shoot whatever he sees. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. But we got the truck loaded down. A ton of stuff in the back seat. But we got about a three hour drive to Dover, which is the little town right outside, land between the lakes. Then we are stopping at Outdoor Junction. You need to get arrows. Mm -hmm. If Junior doesn't need to stop at Outdoor Junction, we might not do that. Um, but then we're stopping at Bass Pro in Nashville. And then from there, head straight to Lamb Between the Lakes, find our campsite, get set up. Hopefully we get there in time enough to uh, do a little bit of scouting this evening. I think we'll have plenty of time to do scouting. Um, don't know if I plan on hunting this evening, but we'll see. But it's 8.45 right now, three hour drive. So it'll stick along for the ride. It's about, <laughs> it's about to get wild. Okay, I just done something stupid or crazy on us. Dixie, get him. Look at this dog. She going nuts. 55 yards out the truck, and I packed that. I ain't gonna lie, that's the best group I've shot in a hot minute. Ooh. But we're here on the lake. It's busting. We got Isaac Jr. Mailing somewhere down there. Joe and Anthony are way up there. Dixie and Menace we're balling. to Society. Yeah, Dixie's being a menace to society. But, uh, yeah, we're getting set up here. Gonna... Probably do a little more shooting here in a bit, but I'm gonna go head out to the woods here after a little while and get get us a few spots ready.
hopefully, I don't have to uh, pack this thing around too crazy long. It's kind of heavy, but for a good backpack with good support, it comes in real handy. I'll find us a spot to kill a deer. All right, so found me. It's a pretty decent scrape, actually. It's not the freshest thing in the world, but uh, I just went ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the area out a little bit more. Um, but I went ahead, sprayed some. Uh, just came out. Uh, Seek one's bonehead scrape, and then right here on the branch, I put some uh, black widow branch butter. It's like a gel. Don't ask me why I'm wearing my sunglasses. I completely forgot I had them on my head. But there's some fresh deer droppings in this scrape. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. It's a nice, decent open area with a piece of wood. Right this ridge on top of this ridge, and it runs a long ways. And then that side there, the old clear cut, it looks like. And then this side just dumps down into this bottom. It's pretty steep, so I'm gonna go ahead and find me a tree. Alright guys, got set up. Found me a fairly like I'm I'm really gonna high up this area. But um got pretty sweaty in the video, so you spread out with some sand killer. Alright, well, just got back to the truck. You may be thinking, dude, it's still light. Why aren't you sitting? Because it's dark in the woods. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna head pick up Junior. Anyways, they uh, didn't see him, but I heard him. They were probably within about 100, 150 yards of me. But uh, yeah, found those scrapes. Uh, looks like a good area, so I'm still going to sit there tomorrow morning, but there's another area I was going to check out and it's still a little bit further down the road uh, Another big ridge system. So I'm gonna go check that out probably tomorrow late morning or afternoon sometime So I'll pull my set tomorrow morning probably unless unless I see something that uh, makes me think otherwise and just sit it out for a while but uh Definitely want to get an area where there's a lot of deer moving. So, anyways, I'm gonna head back to camp. Gotta go pick up Junior and uh, see what happens. It's time to sleep. I don't know what else to say. Alright guys, I didn't really film too much this morning. Wasn't much to film. Just a freaking boatload of squirrels. Had one doe come into about 70 yards right up here. And uh, just never was able to see it very well. I could see it through binoculars, but uh, yeah. She honestly really surprised me. I didn't hear her or nothing. So I just looked and I was like, oh, there's a deer, I think. Got the binoculars and sure enough. But uh, anyways, I'm going to pack out. Got about 800 yards to go. And uh, we're going to drive around, probably do a little bit of just road scouting, look around, see if we can't see some deer. And uh, if we see some deer out in the field, we might try and do a spot stock. We'll see. But uh, man, I just make a game plan for this evening and head back to camp and see if anybody else shot anything this morning. Camp life at its finest. Got some mistakes. And just chilling here.
Okay, guys. So, good news and bad news. Good news is, I killed a deer. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Bad news is, I didn't get it on film, and I hit it a little far back. I think it was weirdest thing. I've never had deer run towards me when they're spooked at me. Of me. I was trying to do a spot sock. Was just, I saw these deer way out in this field. Um, and started sneaking along the edge. The one spotted me, and they ran to the corner. And so I was like, well... It was only the one that spotted me out of probably about five of them. So I just kind of sprinted along the edge, got down a little creek, and next thing I know, two of these deer are running directly at me. They couldn't see me. I was down in a little ditch. Drew back 25 yards, and she took a step forward as a shot. So I'm trying to just give her some time. Uh, some of the boys are hunting, like, literally a mile down the road from here, so I'm going to just kind of wait and see when they get back, possibly, or... I'm going to get too anxious and just go try looking for the steer myself, but I'm going to try and give it some time because if it is back, the air, the arrow was clean past her. I am nervous. Sorry, guys. I'm shaking my legs like I just can't sit still. Um, but um, the arrow had good blood on it, but it wasn't just dark red blood and not just a crazy ton of the air. The fletchings were getting covered, but then the tip of the arrow and everything looked like it might have had a little gut in it. So I'm not sure. So anyways, I'm just sitting here by the edge of the road. Wait until, wait for a little while, and uh, yeah, we'll see if I get too anxious or if I'm willing to wait for the boys, but either way, I'm pretty sure we have a deer down. Shot, in my opinion, it looked good, but like I said, she took a step forward as I shot, and uh, I'm not sure, so I'm going to give it, it's been about 20 minutes already, I'll probably give it another 20 minutes or so, probably right till dark, because then I forgot my headlamp, so my phone light isn't going to be the best, so we'll see, but uh. Hopefully, next time you see me, we've got a deer on the ground. Oh, what's up, guys? We're back here vlogging again. Back here. <laughs> LBL 2024. Yeah. <laughs> get him again. Get him again. Hey, get him again. Hey, we got mail Wi Fi here. Hey, sweet. What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> okay, I'm actually worried. <laughs> okay, you can. <laughs> Hold on, where's my pistol? Dude, you look so short in this lighting. <laughs> Dude, there's a pile of them. I found so much field sign. I found so many rubs. I found probably six or seven rubs. <laughs> 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 it didn't have spots on it. So Isaac, Isaac was walking out and he walked past. So, spotted deer. We're going to try and make a stalk. Me and Zach, we're going to try get on it. Not sure how well it's going to happen. It's in the way back corner, so we're going to try and drop. It looks like there's a creek bed. Runs right where we can maybe get back. And hopefully it just works out farther in the field where we can get a shot so he's got his v3 ready to rip and we're just gonna see we got a lot of time yet so we're just gonna wait it out and maybe this thing will work out just right in front of us he's all about the spotlight life uh, boys, we got some steaks oh, right here. Speak up child. <laughs> we got some steaks right here we're about to eat good. We're about to celebrate. We got deer coming back to camp. Boy look at that thing. That's a thick, thick. It's a thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> thick ones and some thin ones. Thick. <laughs> what the world? Oh, dude. That's a solid deer. Beauty. That's a solid That's deer. That's a beauty. Heck yeah. Look at that brow. That is awesome. That's a solid deer. Shoot. <laughs> He's got a good neck on him, swollen neck on us too. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Um, yeah. Where did it come out at? Was that the entry hole? <laughs> come on now. Tell us about this. How you got it. Carbon Express Swackers, where you eat him? Yeah, FR. Three times. How far was it the first shot? I don't know. I didn't have time to range. You sent it. I ate him high up. Spine him? It didn't look like a spine, but for some reason it put him out of commission. <laughs> and then he went. I was sitting on top of a real steep ridge, and he was standing 
He was standing right on the edge of the drop when I shot him. Good morning, folks. So, I'm sorry I've not been doing the greatest this film wise Let me just keep staying updated, but... Um, so, I didn't hunt yesterday morning. I slept in, because I shot that doe the evening before. Yesterday evening, me and Zach went out, got on a stock, and were able to get it done. We, then we just sat in the corner of that field where the deer was at, hoping they would come back out, but never did. But, um, anyways, we also came in this area I'm sitting now, um, and got this set up on, and we jumped a really nice buck out of here. trail coming off the point of this ridge all the way down. I'm like halfway down it. And then I just crawled and then it across the road. Way far like at the bottom of the ridge. So. Anyways, I got a water hole right here on my back. And then I got three scrapes over right to my left. So really good sign up in here, but we'll see. <laughs> guys we got loaded up ready to go gotta go pick up the other boys stuff but uh yeah overall it's been a good trip hate that i got the one deer didn't get on kill on on film i guess Malin he shot one yesterday evening nice doe and uh then uh yeah see um josh from the other camp shot a nice one probably 120 inch eight point really Dudley of a buck and then uh so did Justin Justin shot a really nice doe too so all overall four deer killed you know solid solid camp it was really rough hunting not gonna lie it was hot during the day today finally a cold front's kind of coming through it rained a little bit this morning and uh yeah but uh ready to head home it's juvenile weekend so we go home can't go hunting but I'm probably gonna take one of my cousins out she really wanted to go out and get a deer so we'll see how that goes but yeah we got about three hours to get home. Gonna finish loading up. Stop at Mickey D's. Get some whatever you call it, mocha something. I don't know, white girl. I don't know how to pronounce them. But uh, some caramel macchiato or something or the other. And get a little something to eat and then head on home. We got for three hours. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like, subscribe. Make sure to share the videos. And you know, just keep the channel growing. Um, see what else we get into this season got some really good bucks on camera so lord willing we get that let or he'll let that happen um really fired up so anyways we got dixie over here fan she ain't too impressed that she has to be tied up but there's too many other campers around so but without further ado thank you so much for watching again guys and uh see you on the next one